welcome to our Bible study online and to the glory of God our text for today's teaching will be taken from the book of Matthew chapter 11 verse 12 Matthew chapter 11 verse 12 and now from the day of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered violent and the violent take it by force let us pray father in the name of Jesus for the entrance of your word give a light and give an understanding to the simple. Let your word come with illumination. Let your word come with insight. Let your word come with power. Help us, Lord, that the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the utterance of today. In Jesus' mighty name. Briefly, I'll be teaching from this test a short teaching title to Take It by Force. Take It by Force. This scripture. Among Christendom has been a familiar scripture, but today I want us to dip deeper to have an understanding of that phrase, take it by force. What are the content of that force? What are the contents of that force? Remember, in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 and 5, he said, Though we walk in the flesh, but we do not war after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But a mighty true God to the pulling down of stronghold. So I want to elaborate more on the content of the force that we are going to use to take it. We have three major force that we need to apply to take our heart desire. The force, the first one is the force of faith, the force of the word, and the force of prayer. The content of the of, of this scripture is three-dimensional. The force of faith, the force of prayer, and the force of the word of God. Let me take it one after the other. To take it by force, you have to apply the force of faith. Everything is takeable in the kingdom, but it's through the platform of faith. In Hebrew chapter 11, verse 1, faith was defined. Hebrew 11, verse 1, it says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so faith is the raw materials for faith is hope so whatsoever you desire you must have hope and in verse 6 of hebrew chapter 11 he said without faith it is impossible to please god that anyone that will come to him must believe that he exists that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so it takes faith to take anything in the kingdom you will agree with me in luke chapter 1 verse 45 luke chapter 1 verse 45 the bible declare that blessed is she that believe there will be a performance of those things that have been said to her from the mount of the lord you believe have to do with faith believe that this thing is possible and it shall be possible in mark chapter 11 Mark 11 verse 22 Jesus answering sent unto him have faith in God and in verse, that, in verse 23 of Mark chapter 11 he said whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou be removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe there will be, there be a performance of those things that he desire so once you believe that, that the things will happen you are taking it by force so the force of faith is a potent force to take anything in the kingdom you have to believe that what the word have said is possible the second force is the force of the word of god in the book of psalm 138 psalm 138 verse 2 the bible declare i have exalted my word more than his name the word of the lord has been lifted and in, in Psalm 119, he said, Forever, O Lord, thy word is set to. Anything that you want to take by force must be set to in the word of God. And that is why in First John, in First John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. First John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15, he said, This is the confidence that we have in him. That when we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. My prayer for somebody in the radio line, in, in, the, in, the, in, in the space world, everyone that is connected to this media, 
may the lord grant your heart desire in accordance to his word in the name of jesus god will never do anything outside this world the word of god is god vehicle for manifestation every art of god is expressed by his word that is why all our desire must be located in the word when jesus before jesus began in ministry and the bible says when he returned after 40 days and 49 that it was open to him the book of isaiah and he found where it is written the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me jesus locate himself in the world so anything you can locate in the world you are taking it by force lastly that the, the third content of the force is the force of faith the force of faith the bible uh, the force of prayer prayer is a major content in the move of god the bible declaring look at 18 verse 1 luke 18 verse 1 and he spark a parable unto them on this wise that men ought to pray always and not faint men ought to pray always and not faint and in act chapter 12 verse 5 act chapter 12 verse 5 the bible said peter was therefore kept in prison and the church pray without ceasing so the force of prayer is a major potent force to take anything and that is our commission christ apostolic church is noted for prayer and the prayer must be based in the word of god in the book of ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 is i'm praying all prayers my prayer for you today that anything you desire when you locate the word of god it will be possible but for you to take it by force for it to work for you first of all you have to give your life to jesus it is the primary point very vital very important anything outside christ is nothing because the word in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god and the word was made everything was made by the word so everything is answerable to the word so for you to take anything by force you have to give your life to jesus our god is not a father christmas he's not giving out anything everything is based according to his word that is why in the book of matthew chapter 11 matthew 11:28, 11, he said come unto me you that are weary and heavy living i will give you rest is there somebody out there that maybe you have been on fire for the lord before and certain things happen you backslide this i want to give you another opportunity for you to say yes to jesus as you turn over your life to jesus your life will never be the same say this short prayer after me lord jesus today i've heard your word and i've made up my mind to serve you forgive me of my sin write my name in the book of life thank you for accepting me as your own in jesus name i prayed amen may the lord keep you and bless you in jesus name when the trumpet of the lord shall sound and time shall be Thanks for watching. You can connect with us online for service at Facebook forward slash CAC VOM DCC HQ, on Instagram at CAC VOM DCC HQ, and on YouTube at CAC VOM DCC HQ. You can also fellowship with us at Christ Apostolic Church Vineyard of Mercy District at number 45 stroke 47 commercial avenue sabo yaba lagos telephone 0806349 8213 or 0902510 god bless you